Hi everyone, I'm Rinzi and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do a new release Tuesday video. Today I'm talking about books that come out on Tuesday, June 25th. The first book I have this week is Ebby Drake Starts Over by Linda Holmes. In a sleepy seaside town in Maine, recently widowed Ebby Drake rarely leaves her large empty house nearly a year after her husband has passed away. Everyone in town, including her best friend Andy, thinks that it's grief that keeps her inside and Ebby doesn't correct them. Meanwhile, in New York City, Dean Tenney, a former Major League Baseball player and Andy's childhood best friend, is suffering from what is called called the yips. He can't throw straight anymore and he can't seem to figure out why. As the media storm starts to build up around this, Andy's invitation to go visit her in Maine seems like the perfect opportunity to get away and hit reset on Dean's life. When he moves into an apartment in the back of Evie's house, the two make an agreement. Dean will not ask Evie any questions about the her husband and Evie won't ask any questions to Dean about his baseball career. Rules though have a funny way of being broken and what starts off as an unexpected friendship starts to become something more. So this is the debut novel from Melinda Holmes and Melinda Holmes is probably best well known for working on NPR. She co-hosts the podcast Pop Culture Happy Hour and writes for NPR and things like that. I I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It sounds really sweet. I feel like I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, I'm a big fan of Linda Holmes's writing. So if you are a fan of hers as well, or if you are someone who just enjoys a good like rom com -y type of contemporary story, then definitely pick up Ebby Drake Starts Over today. All right, next up I have our sponsor for this video and that is The Daughters of Temperance Hobbs by New York Times bestselling author Katherine Howe and this is out today by Henry Holt. A magical bloodline, a family curse. Can Connie break the spell before it shatters her future? So this is a new book from bestselling author Katherine Howe who wrote the book The Physic Book of Deliverance Stain and Katherine Howe is returning to the world of that book following a New England history professor who must race against time in order to break a family curse. And again, that's called The Daughters of Temperance Hobbs by Katherine Howe. And thanks so much to Henry Holt for sponsoring this video. All right, the next book I have this week is The Gone Dead by Chanel Benz. Billy James's inheritance is not much, a little bit of money and a shack in Mississippi. The house once belonged to her father, a well-renowned black poet who unexpectedly passed away when Billy was just four years old. Though Billy was there when the accident happened, she has no memories from that day and she hasn't been back south since. 30 years later, Billy returns, but her father's home is unnervingly secluded. Her only neighbors are the McGee's, the family with which hers is intertwined since the time of slavery. As Billy starts talking to some of the locals, she hears a rumor that she actually went missing on the day that her father passed away. And as she starts sort of looking into things a little bit more, this mystery may actually be putting her in danger. So this is a debut novel and Chanel Benz does some really interesting interesting things with this one. I've actually read a copy of this one already and she talks about things like race and justice and the way the black people are treated in Mississippi both back in like the 1970s as well as modern day and the ways that those sort of beliefs are carrying over into modern day. So if that sounds of interest to you, then you can pick up The Gone Dead by Chanel Benz. Next, I have The Van Amphel Girls Are Gone by Felicity McLean. Tika Malloy was 11 and one sixth years old during the long, hot, Australian summer of 1992. The TV news in the background chattered about the exoneration of Lindy Chamberlain. That summer was when the Van Amphel sisters mysteriously disappeared. Did they just run away from their harsh evangelical parents or were they taken? While the search for these girls united the small community, the mystery was never solved and Tika and her older sister were traumatized by the loss of their friends and playmates. Now, years later, Tika is returning home and hoping to make sense of that strange moment in time. So this book is like part coming of age story and also like part dark comedy. Um, I've seen some comparisons to this one to The Virgin Suicides and I think it's because it's about like a group of sisters who something happens to them kind of mysteriously. So I feel like this is going to be one of those books where if you enjoy coming of age stories or if you enjoy stories where you are learning about things 
from like kind of a child's perspective or sort of looking back on things that you thought as a child and as an adult you have a completely different perspective. I think that this book also has that sort of view as well. Then you should definitely pick up the Van Emphel Girls Are Gone. The next book I have this week is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. 18 year old Gu Miang has a secret. She's a Gumio, a nine-tailed fox who must devour the energy of men in order to survive. Because so few people believe in this old myth anymore and with so many evil men, Seoul is the perfect place for her to live and hunt. But one night, Miang crosses paths with Ji Hoon, a human boy who is being attacked by a goblin in the deep forest. Against her better judgment, she decides to rescue the boy, losing her fox speed, her gumyo soul, in the process. Ji Hoon knows that Myung is more than just a beautiful girl. He saw her nine tails the night that she saved his life. With murderous forces lurking in the background, the two form a tenuous friendship that blossoms into something more. But when a young shaman tries to reunite Myung with her bead, the consequences are disastrous, forcing her to choose between her or mortal life or Ji Hoon's. So this is a new fantasy romance series that is actually set in Seoul, Korea, which is pretty fantastic. I know a lot of people over at Book Riot have read this one already and are really excited for this one to come out. So if you are a fan of fantasy romance, then pick up Wicked Fox, which is out today. Next up, I have After the End by Claire McIntosh. Max and Pip are the strongest couple that you know, but then their son gets sick and the doctors put the question of his survival in their hands. For the first time, Max and Pip can't agree. They each want a different future for their son. But what if they could have both? So this is a new sort of like family contemporary drama. It's being recommended for fans of Jodi Picoult. It talks about the two paths that fate can take and looks at this unforgettable family that is dealt with this extremely difficult choice. And again, that's called After the End by Claire McIntosh. And the final book I have this week is Big Sky by Kate Atkinson. This is the next book in the Jackson Brody series. So I don't feel like enough people know about this, but Kate Atkinson has actually written a mystery series featuring a detective named Jackson Brody. And there hasn't been a new book out in this series in about a decade um, or maybe like close to a decade and so I know a lot of people are really excited for this. Jackson Brody has relocated to a quiet seaside town with the occasional visit from his son and aging Labrador at the discretion of his ex-partner Julia. Jackson's current job of gathering proof of an unfaithful husband for a client is pretty standard issue, but a chance encounter with a desperate man on a crumbling cliff leads him to a suspicious network. So like I said, this is the next book in the Jackson Brody series. You don't necessarily have to read the Jackson Brody series in order uh, in order to enjoy the book, so I definitely recommend picking up one of the books if you have a chance and maybe Big Sky, which is out today, will be that one for you. So those are all of the books I have for you guys this week. Let me know down in the comments below if you are excited about any of the books I talked about here or if there's another book coming out today that you're excited about. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video. Bye.